Well, that looks like a perfectly fine mushroom to me to sit on for the day. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Ouch! This is terrible! This is terrible! I'm fleeing! I'm fleeing! Whee! <gasps> Did you see that? Everybody, it's more the library lady here again. I'm here to show you how to make one of these. It is a program I like to call Caterpillar's Mushroom Pincushion. So it looks just like one of those mushrooms with the little white spots on it, right? But in actuality, it has actually it has little sharp pins on it like this. But this is to help you with your future sewing project. So if when you're sewing two pieces of fabric together, it will help you by pinning those two pieces together and it'll make it easier for you to sew. So, interestingly enough, would you believe that this little handy doohickey would help you with sewing? However, it is not a sewing project. It is a gluing project. So, let me get to work and I will show you how to make your very own Caterpillar's Mushroom Pincushion. Now I just gotta find Mr. Caterpillar. This is what you're going to need to make your Caterpillar's Mushroom Pincushion. You're going to need two five inch diameter circles of felt. You will want to have a cork coaster it is about three and a half inches in diameter. Okay. You're gonna want straight pins, preferably ones that have pearled white heads. You're also going to need this little thing. Sometimes it's called a bean pot. Sometimes people call it a candle cup, but it looks like a little tiny vase and it um, has an opening. <laughs> this base is uh, just a little over an inch and a half, maybe an inch and three quarters ish. You need your hot glue gun and glue sticks. You'll want it turned on and ready to go. This is a hot glue mat. That's not included in the kits from the library, but if you happen to get one from Dollar Tree, they're really nice to have around. And of course, you're going to need some stuffing. All right, so we have all of our things. Let's get started making our mushroom. First thing we're going to do after turning this on and letting it heat up, we are going to take one of the felt circles and we're gonna take our cork circle here. And we are going to glue the two things together by wrapping this around tightly. So. You're just gonna pick an edge. I'll go with this one, this edge here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue there. Hold that for a moment until it dries into place or pat at it if it's too hot. Then I'm going to go directly across from it to make sure this stuff doesn't get dragged all the way around. And I'm going to put some more hot glue over here on this side. I'm gonna do it on a third side too. That way I have this open to stuff in the fluff. All right. Now, of course we need to have it perfectly round. So if you can put a little bit of hot glue in there and start folding in little pieces like this tight so it's gonna be round on the outside. some in here. Well, <laughs> doesn't have to be a bunch of perfect folds going all the way around. This is going to be covered up. No one will see this but you. Well, no one will see this one except for the entire world who decides they want to play this on their YouTube. <laughs> so let's go over here and we're going to do the same thing. So just glue in it into place, trying to keep it round on the outside. 
Almost there. Almost there. I promise. I promise. We're almost there. Doesn't matter if glue is sticking out. In fact, you could probably use that to help press the stuff down. I'm touching it because once it's out of the gun, it's a little bit cooler. I don't recommend doing that, but I'm old. I don't think my nerves are quite as <laughs> sensitive as they used to be. Your teenage nerves should be different. All right, so I've got this most of the way closed off. So now I'm going to take that stuffing and I'm gonna stuff it. This is gonna be the top of your mushroom. And just keep adding stuffing. Stuff in as much as there as you can. Keep an eye on the shape because you definitely want it to be that nice curved dome shape. All right, well, I might not be able to use all of this. That's okay, I can save this extra fluff for another project. Like maybe this guy. <laughs> That's okay, so now that we've got as much in here as we can, it looks like we're starting to make a nice little dome shape. I'm going to start trying to glue this down the rest of the way. And I might stop as I go and add more stuffing. First, let me pat this in really good and try to get just as much fabric pulled up here as I did at the other places. Yes, there's gonna be a little bit of a curve to it, and that's fine. Uh, just let it go. Nothing occurs per perfectly symmetrical in nature, except for maybe honeycombs, but <laughs> we'll let the uh, scientists uh, and the mathematicians figure that one out together. For now, for this purpose, I'm gonna say nothing's ever perfectly symmetrical in here. Go. So you see that's making it curve a little bit. That's okay, so let's check our shape. Still doing okay. All right, so I'm gonna start to glue down more of this. Hopefully the shape stays as I go. If not, I still got a little opening to add more stuffing. So let's start closing this up. Give it a little moment to cool beneath your fingers. Doesn't take long. There we go, see now it's sticking. And let's get this little guy brought into the mix here, too. Ooh, come on, you can do it. Go to your home. Go to your home. That's right, I was a 90s kid who grew up on Adam Sandler. So sue me. Go to your home. There we go. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's the part I don't like about working with hot glue. All this stringy stuff that you can never quite get rid of. Ugh, it sticks to your fingers, sticks to your project. Okay, don't worry about that right now. Do not worry a bit. So what do we think here? We still have a pretty good dome shape here. Yeah, I, I think so. So I'm gonna keep on gluing. If yours doesn't look the same as mine just yet, it's okay. Add a little more stuffing and then, I'll pause this, add a little more stuffing and then come back to it. Let's bring this over. Hold it, hold it. Excellent. And bring in the rest of this so we have the round edges that we want. Even if it's a little misshapen, that's okay. Perfectly all right. Fabric stretches with time. And cork likes to work with time too, so. <laughs> It'll all figure itself out. All right, make sure everything's glued down, pressed in. If you need to add more glue because something's coming up, do that now. But I'm gonna say this looks pretty good. All right, so the next step is to take our second felt circle, like this. We're gonna have this ready to go. That's gonna be the bottom of this. And now just in preparation, I'm gonna put lots of glue in the middle so it doesn't seep out the edges. We're gonna add some glue on the edges too, but we're gonna have a more clever way of doing that when all's said and done. 
so here I kind of cheated along the curve of the circle a little bit that's a little bit less that I'm gonna have to cut off in a little bit there we go now this is up to you you can grab your scissors and start cutting or you can mark it with a marker or a pen uh, if that makes it easier for you to cut out but you just want to keep it close to the edge there so now just gonna cut around cutting around excuse me madam excuse me excuse me excuse me okay I'm tired of hearing my own voice now okay you can just toss this unceremoniously into the trash. And now we're going to make sure that cap is a little bit better stuck on around the edges, because otherwise, look at this. Yeah, it doesn't look quite right. So you take your hot glue gun once again. Looks like mine's running low, so I'm gonna grab another hot glue stick here. Ah, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna be very careful here and I'm gonna put some hot glue just a little bit away from the edge. Bring this out and kind of very carefully smooth it. I'm not pushing down really hard because that's that'll stain this part of the fabric. We don't want to do that. Okay. Oh, and then you'd also don't want to get this. See? You don't want to, but if it happens, it's okay. And look, very quick, carefully shave it off the top. And boom, there's hardly anything left. If there is, well, who cares? Red Sharpie, right? And I'm not gonna make you watch me go all the way around. I will put this into time lapse for you, but just so you know, I could make this totally in 15 minutes if I wasn't narrating. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, we're back and up to normal speed again. Hey, so I've got this completely glued down. And there it is. The edges look a little rough. That doesn't bother me, but if it bothers you, you could easily get some kind of lace or some kind of cording to put around here. I've seen it done on other ones like these online, but I'm perfectly okay with that. So now we get out our What's this thing called again? <laughs> We're gonna get out our candle cup or bean, is bean something? Gosh, I can't remember. Ah, not important. We're gonna get this little guy out. Okay, and I'm gonna put the glue kind of, it's gonna go all the way around of course but I'm gonna try to get it on the inner portion so it doesn't come seeping out once I attach this to the mushroom. Okay, it's still hot, it's still sticky. So if you want to, you could put a little dot in the middle or something, a name for that, but I'm a gambler. So I'm just gonna eyeball it and stick it in the middle. I'm just gonna press down on that we go see you made a little mushroom okay now the last thing you have to do is take out your straight pins and we're going to organize them on here or not organize them that's totally up to you but see it fits that and great thing about it it can also fit your sewing needles too just fine yep I have a couple of those laying around here I'm dying to get a pin cushion but now I have one. So I will add all the little pearls and time lapse. So just wait for it and this will look gorgeous. Okay, so I once had one and now I have two. Yay! So, stay tuned. We're gonna have more crafts coming your way, and especially that little kitty cat that I showed you. 
that's coming up in about three weeks. It's the fourth week of June, fourth week of June, that's right. So other than that, I will see you later. Hey, you know, some little critters just don't learn their lesson the first time. I hope that's not you. Later. <laughs>